I want to thank the CSKF administration and management to give me the opportunity to talk to you through video recording. And I also want to thank our IT experts here at Ohio State who always do a tremendous job. There will be definitely some questions after my presentation. And I'll be back with you in the afternoon. But in the meantime, any difficult question can be asked to Dr. Raj Shrestha or Richard Lou. And simple, easy question I'll be glad to answer when I come back with you in the afternoon. Thank you again. Uh, the topic assigned to me is soil quality. The work that I'm presenting uh, was based on last several years of uh, very hard work of excellent scientists, uh, researchers, and colleagues, uh, Sandeep Kumar, Raj Shrestha, Richard Liu, who have been research scientists, uh, several postdoc fellow, Toru Nakayama, Vincent Obed, Atana Mukherjee, graduate student, Chris Hudson, Reed Johnson, Scott Mayhu. Scott was not with us for too long. And this summer, we had two interns, a uh, very hardworking Anna Noel and Christina Bacchus. Soil quality, uh, perhaps go back to the concept that Edward Demings put out, that some important things cannot be measured, but must be managed. And it is in this context, therefore, that question is not what is there in the soil that can be measured, but what it does which must be quantified. And what it does is soil quality, or the soil functions, or the soil capacity to do ecosystem services. Soil quality, in fact, impacts water resources, climate change mitigation, food security, biodiversity. It is the driving mechanism and the engine of economic development in relation to agricultural production. The key soil crop parameters which impact soil quality are many, including physical properties such as bulk density, texture, water retention, available water capacity, aggregation, mean weight diameter, saturated hydraulic conductivity, soil temperature, soil moisture. There's a range of chemical properties like pH, electrical conductivity, soil organic carbon, total nitrogen, and biological properties such as microbial biomass, carbon, and biodiversity. And there are crop parameters such as grain yield, biomass, stover yield, root growth, harvest index. There are many properties, but these properties have to be selected and converted into a simple numerical index. And this numerical index, we call soil quality index, should be the one that soil scientists can quantify, but farmers can understand and relate to. That's a very important criteria of a, a good soil quality index. So in this study specifically, based on this concept, we studied several cropping systems, such as corn, soybean, corn, soybean, wheat, corn and cover crop, and tillage systems such as no-till and chisel tillage, drainage system such as drainage versus no drainage. To summarize the key findings of this particular work, including uh, those of several colleagues that I mentioned, number one, the soil quality index assessment for different agricultural management practices using scoring function analysis is an effective and useful tool for assessing agronomic productivity. Weighted scoring method can identify key soil parameters their relative importance and predict soil quality index with high performance. Soil quality index is higher, for example, for organic soils, which has very high organic matter content, than for mineral soils, especially under on-farm condition. <clears throat> and soil quality indices calculated using weighted scoring function and principal component analysis, we find that they are similar. So these are the key four findings that we can summarize thus far. Finding one, soil quality index can be assessed by following three steps given below. And those steps are indicator selection, such as physical parameters, chemical parameter, biological parameter that I presented in the previous slide. And these indicators are chosen based on the specific management goals and these are then interpreted by scoring function. And the function can be increasing, decreasing, or having an optimum three 
particular scenario. On the basis of these, we develop an integrative procedure to come up with a soil quality index. Now, in the integration of all indicators and depth score function uh, to calculate the value, we follow as some kind of schematic such as scoring of properties such as bulk density, pH, soil organic carbon, available water capacity and getting the weighted uh, scoring system for the same properties and then summing up these in relation to the maximum score. So it gives a kind of a ratio uh, in a form of soil quality index which we then develop the depth weighted average and do the integration over the depth which get the overall soil quality index which we relate to the agronomic productivity. And this procedure has been developed and published in some of the paper such as Thoru, Vincent, Atanu, Raj who is developing that index now along with Richard. So in terms of the own station work that we did at Waterman Farm at Ohio State University, this weighted soil quality index to 60 centimeter depth is for example related to corn grain yield in a linear fashion with a regression coefficient correlation of 0.62 significant at 0.5% uh, uh, level of probability. Under own farm condition, the correlation coefficient is even better uh, with a value of 0.75. So this shows that yes, corn yield both under research condition and farm condition is related to the soil quality index that we just described how to do it. The primary indicators that we selected for different uh, parameters, several range of them, physical, chemical, biological, uh, we find that the physical properties such as K-saturated, hydraulic conductivity, K-sat, and soil organic carbon content. In fact, SOC and K-sat are interrelated, not necessarily K-sat is not necessarily independent. So soil organic carbon seems to be in this study as well as in many other study, a key soil indicator of the soil quality. This finding two, the weighted scoring method can predict soil quality index with high performance. So the appropriate weighted on score can predict soil quality with good accuracy but requires a number of soil parameters under different soil functional components and carefully chosen minimum data set. The finding three soil quality was higher in organic versus the inorganic or mineral soil under on farm conditions. And here is the data to show that the yellow, which is the organic soil, compared to Kokomo and Crosby, which are the purple and uh, green soil, are uh, the soil quality index, as you would expect, because of the higher organic matter content, is higher in organic than inorganic soils. So that is finding three, then finding four that the soil quality indices calculated using weighted scoring function and principal component methods are indeed similar. And those comparison uh, show that adaptive additive scoring function is uh, highly correlated. The weighted scoring function and the principal component method are all uh, very comparable results. I think coming back to summarizing again, soil quality is a function of uh, components such as all our, uh, soil organic carbon, available water capacity, hydraulic conductivity. These are among those that we think are important indicators. I think to come back to this question that soil carbon is the key factor, key determinant, uh, critical uh, indicator of the soil quality. Uh, think about soil organic carbon as the base of this pyramid on which depends several ecosystem services such as food security, such as climate change, adaptation and mitigation, such as uh, land soil restoration of many drastically disturbed soil such as that of biodiversity. So it's a pyramid. The base of the pyramid is the soil quality based on the soil organic carbon content. But the strength of this pyramid, of the stability of this pyramid with all those tremendous ecosystem services of significance to global uh, population and its needs is the, the how the four sides of the pyramids on the top are tied together. And they are tied together by political vision and leadership, which is very, very, very critical to this. 
Last year, you may remember, I said soil is an icon rather than the icon such as panda or tortoise or um, many other uh, polar bear and gorilla, etc. Soil quality, a high quality soil with its numerous parameter, biological, the physical, the chemical, and its ability to cycle the nutrients, water, carbon, nitrogen, is really the real icon that is again proven by the work of the CS cap. And it shows very clearly that soil is life and life is soil. Thank you. This has been a great opportunity to work with CS cap. Uh, it is a great program and uh, I think the impact of this program will be felt for many, many years, at least uh, decades to come. Uh, once again, I appreciate the opportunity to work with you.